as you can see there's another big dam right there we've gotten this whole stretch set up ready to go and fixing to head that way a nice little run in this little dam that they kind of let go down some and we went ahead and set it up have otters and everything else going over that got some nice big logs coons and everything using right up here underneath this big tree we've got a nice big den hole went ahead and set a 330 kind of blocking it up underneath there you can see they've come in and out up there and again this is a nuisance job so I'm out here to catch all the beaver and that's what I'm out here to trap and so that's what I'll set up for and I don't typically go straight in and set den holes unless there's a good reason for it and we got some bad weather coming in so I'm kind of hoping to get this one knocked out pretty fast and we've got possible ice storms and stuff so I want to get it taken care of as you can see all kinds of beaver slides and sign everywhere I can make a set every few feet if I really wanted to but there's only so many beaver and only so many places that you want to put traps try to make take care of put as many as good sets as you can as possible a little, little run right there I got some distance between that trap and this last one see the beaver been pretty active over in here I guess if you're not the landowner that's pretty pretty cool looking plenty of places I can set it for mink there's some good mink sign and stuff around here definite signs for coons and everything else got a nice spot right here found two little den holes running back up in here and not it don't look quite cleaned out like the other ones but no reason not to set them and so I went ahead and set them up with a snare kind of blocked them off on either end where they come straight through here only with those snares I'll set them about inch and a half two inches into the water about an eight inch loop on those snares and it's worked pretty good for beaver and otter both if I know that's all I'm going after is otter that's all that's in the area I'll take and I'll make that loop about seven inches rather than eight again more signs of beaver here and as you can see there's a garage their house is right beside of it so these beaver are right in these people's backyard so we're trying to get them taken care of before they make out make a mess out of these people's yard another nice little hole going up underneath there this one I actually put some cast strip in the hole as well um, it seemed like it was pretty well used but just kind of want to encourage them to go into it don't over cast an area don't want to take a chance on spooking them early on right here I've got a tree sticking further out in the water and I'll take it on one side of it I'll take it put a nice little green limb and wire it to it and then further up the tree I'll take and put a nice little spot of caster I don't know if you can see it right there and then same thing eight inch loop inch and a half two inches into the water and block it off and kind of makes them go around that tree and I've caught a lot of beaver that way and get there and this water is really not deep enough to set drowners so nothing you'll see Today I'll have drowners at all on it. Everything's kind of shallow, knee-deep water. So just really taking care to tie everything off really, really good. And with a good 11-gauge wire, 9-gauge wire, only you don't want to take and use anything smaller than that for beaver. Beaver will go make you a good mess of it. Here we've got a nice little caster mount set. A little bit of lure on top of that one. Nice 330 sitting there. Definitely tell they're coming up and down right here. Kind of making a mess of these trees for the landowner. And so they were already using that trail right there. I just kind of freshened it up a little bit and made my own little caster mound. Kind of get that territorial aspect of it going. And I'm going to push this snare down a little bit further. Uh, thought I had it good and down in there but as you can tell this is a another nice little run 
and everything. They're using it to go up to those same trees I just pictured with the conibear on the other side. And we've got rain coming in, so I can kind of go a little higher on my loops there out of the water because that water level is going to go up tonight. And so we've got that Sarah snare setting the run going over towards that tree. And then got another nice little hole right here set up with a Bell's Isle 220. And we'll go back to the truck and get some more traps and head to the other dam. Put a little tiny break in it, just get the water moving. And I'm not going to set that break up. I do that to try to get some of this trash out of the water and everything. And then I may set the dam up tomorrow or the next day, just depending on how the catches go. And I'm going to go further down this way, maybe too, and set some traps up underneath the bridge where you can tell they're going to the farmer's property on the other end. And But I just have job rights on this side right now, and I'll go talk to the farmer and neighboring landowners and see if they have any problems as well. That's how I do it. And got a bunch of other sets to make, and hope you all enjoyed the little video. I don't usually do too many of them, so I'm not real steady-handed. But I hope it shows you something and helps you out and if you have any questions about any of the sets I'll describe them a little better and that's all for now